Hello, this is Game Audio Toolkit, where we look at ideas, approaches and implementations for game audio. And this time, we're going to look at randomization. Reaper and SWS extensions come with several good free actions to bring randomization into your workflow. Let's take a few random parts from it and line them up. Now you could start cutting and moving bits around by mouse, but that's a lot of work. Let's use available tools and actions to speed up the workflow. First is cutting up files. The dynamic item splitter is a good tool for making lots of smaller grains from a longer file. I've created a toolbar with lots of actions for randomization and shuffling items around, and it comes in handy for this kind of workflow. The first one we're going to use is randomize item positions. This randomizes existing positions of items. It isn't very useful on a single track as you'll end up with lots of overlaps. So I tend to use it more for minor changes, like slightly offsetting the position of one shot items. Shuffle order is more useful as it shuffles around all the items within your selection. Ah. We forgot to clean up all those overlaps from our randomization earlier. We can fix that easily too. Reposition selected items at space at the start or finish of an item. It's a quick way of creating rhythmic patterns. You can of course also use zero to remove gaps altogether. Let's make some copies, set some pans and do another round of shuffle to really randomize our items. That's a little too much space. Reposition tool again. Let's bring them all back into the fold. That's beginning to sound a lot more random already. Next tool. Toggle selected items selected randomly. This creates a subset of the current selection. I'm using this to randomize volumes. But you can use it also for other operations, like reversing or changing channels. I'm showing you the brute force way of using it. You could be more methodical. For instance, start with 75% probability, then 50% and work your way down, reducing your selection with each step. Finally, a bit of fade on each side, and we've quickly created a bet for an ambience. So I've been using this workflow a lot when creating quad ambiences, as this approach is really well suited for the repetitious workflow that you need to create four channels. Last example. Let's go for total chaos and combine the randomization workflow with a variation on Charles Danis 100 swishes in two minutes approach. I'll link to that article in the description. I've sidechained the two layers. And on the parent track is a set of effects. Waves Doppler effect adds an envelope, which ties all the layers together. The rather excellent Low Ender plugin gives the whole thing some extra weight. And then there's a set of Sound Toys plugins. This method is really fun when you're throwing a lot of random things into the mix. Who knows, you might come up with that award-winning sound. I'll still let it run for a bit. Thank you for watching.